Welcome to White Plains Hospital, and thank you for choosing us for your surgery. Our goal is to ensure you have an exceptional experience the moment you walk through our doors to recovery. You will be receiving a lot of important information before your surgery, and this video will serve to reinforce this information. Please feel free to share it with any of your caregivers so they can help you prepare for your surgery. Part of preparing for your surgery is making sure you are blue bag ready. Your blue bag includes information about a program called Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, or ERAS for short. ERAS is an evidence-based program to help you achieve optimal results by following specific instructions before, day of, and after your surgery. Our goal is to make sure you are blue bag ready, and we will now go over some key points to help you prepare. So first, let's talk about preparing for surgery, and that begins with proper skin care. Our skin protects our body from germs getting inside where they shouldn't be. But when we have surgery, there's a chance that these germs can get inside and cause an infection where the surgery took place. And this is called a surgical site infection, and we'll do everything we can to avoid this. To start, your healthcare team will wash their hands frequently to help stop the spread of germs that can cause infections. They will also use special products during surgery to help keep the areas as clean as possible. And you can help too. Before surgery, you may have been asked to use a special soap called chlorhexidine gluconate, or CHG. If you were asked to use CHG to clean your skin, you probably received a ready set prep kit in your ERAS blue bag, which may look like this. Inside it, you will find everything you need for the CHG bathing. Keep in mind that CHG is only used on certain parts of your body, typically below the chin, and for certain surgeries only. It should not be used by anyone who is allergic to any of the ingredients contained in it, or for those who have certain skin conditions like active psoriasis, dermatitis, eczema, or open wounds, especially if they're near the area where surgery will be done. In that case, please just use your usual body care products and bathe the night before and the morning of surgery to clean your skin. So, you will use your Ready Set Prep CHG bathing kit two times. First, the night before surgery, and then again, the day of the surgery before leaving for the hospital. Inside your kit is a laminated shower card, which you can bring in the shower as a reminder of what to do. We have also included two wash mitts. Use a separate wash mitt each time you bathe and discard the used one after you have completed your CHG bathing. If you were not given a Ready Set Prep Kit, not to worry. Your healthcare team will help you prepare your skin on the day of your procedure when you arrive. Here's how to properly clean with CHG at home. Step one, first rinse your body with warm water. Step two, wash your hair with your own shampoo and then rinse thoroughly with water. You may also use your own soap or face products to wash your face at this time. Do not use your CHG soap to wash your hair or your face. Again, CHG soap is only to be used below your chin. Step three, wet your shower mitt. Turn off the water so you don't rinse the CHG off too soon. Pour some CHG into the wash mitt and use it to wash your body from your neck down. Remember, do not use CHG on your face or get it in your eyes or ears. Step four, Firmly massage all areas, neck, arms, chest, back, abdomen, and hips. Clean your legs and feet and between your fingers and toes. Pay attention to your surgery site, unless you're having surgery on your head, scalp, or face, and all the surrounding skin. Clean your groin and buttocks last. This soap is for external use only. Do not use it to wipe in between your buttocks or to wipe inside your vagina it can irritate these areas. Ask for help to clean your back or any hard to reach places, especially if surgery is in those places. Step five, reapply CHG to all the same body areas and then wait two minutes. Step six, turn water back on and lightly rinse your body. Step seven, dry off with a clean towel. Pat your skin dry rather than wiping with the towel. Step eight, Put on clean clothes and use clean bed linens. Do not apply any other soaps or lotions to your skin after using the CHG. Also, if you have any pets that usually sleep next to you at night, please don't let them sleep with you the night before surgery. Step nine, 
before coming to the hospital, repeat the same process the day of surgery while taking your second shower. If you have any questions about your CHG or Ready Set Prep Kit, please call the Surgical Navigation Center at 914-681-2613. The department is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. ICOF is a program to help you improve your lung function both before and after surgery. If you have been given an incentive spirometer, start using it one week before surgery. We will show you how to use your incentive spirometer in this video. But first, we will review the components of our ICOF program. I is for incentive spirometer, which is this device to help you expand your lungs. C is for coughing and deep breathing. This helps you expand your lungs, helping them to deliver oxygen to the tissues in your body after surgery. O is for oral care. Make sure to brush your teeth and gargle with mouthwash twice a day, both before surgery and after your surgery. This will help keep your mouth clean from germs that otherwise can get into your lungs. U is for understanding the importance of eye cough. It is important to take an active role in your recovery knowing how to prevent lung infections or pneumonia, and complications such as blood clots is an important step. G is for getting out of bed and walking the hallways. It is important to be active before surgery, as well as to strengthen your muscles and develop stamina. And after surgery, it is just as important to get up and walk, at least three times a day, but more if you can tolerate it. H is for head of bed elevation. When you are in the hospital, it is important to keep the head of the bed elevated at least 15 degrees at all times. This will help you breathe easier and prevent choking. Here is an example of an incentive spirometer. Yours may look a little different, but they all serve the same purpose. To use your incentive spirometer, one, attach the tube of the mouthpiece to the spirometer. Two, sit up as straight as possible. Three, Hold the incentive spirometer in an upright position. Four, breathe out and then place the mouthpiece in your mouth and seal your lips tightly around it. Five, breathe in slowly and as deeply as possible. The peg or ball should hover between best and better or near the happy face. If it rises to the top, this means you are inhaling too quickly. Take your time breathing in. Six, Hold your breath for as long as possible after breathing in. Then exhale slowly to allow the disc to fall back to the bottom of the cylinder. Rest for a few seconds and repeat the process. 10 times every hour, at least five to six times a day. If you have any questions about your incentive spirometer, please call the Surgical Navigation Center at 914-681-2613. The department is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. You may be asked to have a carbohydrate drink before surgery. Not every surgery requires this, and your surgeon will decide what is best for your surgery and your medical conditions. The reason you may be asked to have a carbohydrate drink before surgery is because surgery can be stressful for your body. Because you have been asked to stop eating six to eight hours or more before surgery, this can add to that stress. So in some cases, having an approved clear drink with carbohydrates in it before your procedure can help reduce the stress your body feels from surgery. Please keep in mind that you should only use the carbohydrate drink you were given, which is specifically made for our patients having surgery. This can't be found at your grocery store or pharmacy. So make sure you don't purchase another product to use in place of the drink you were given, unless you were specifically instructed to do so. The night before surgery, place your Ensure pre-surgery clear carbohydrate drink in the refrigerator. Make sure you know what time your surgery is scheduled to start. Three hours before your surgery start time, drink the entire bottle in five to 10 minutes. This should be your last drink before surgery, except for a sip of water if you've been asked to take any medications on the day of your surgery. You may brush your teeth after having the carbohydrate drink. It is very important not to drink anything else or your surgery may get canceled or rescheduled, and this would be for your safety. If you have any questions about your clear carbohydrate drink, please call the Surgical Navigation Center at 
681-2613. The department is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. Remember, our Surgical Navigation Center is here to help. If you have any questions about the information in these videos, please don't hesitate to call them at 914-681-2613. A representative from the Surgical Navigation Center will be calling you to review some of this information with you and to answer any additional questions prior to your surgery. With certain procedures, in addition to possibly seeing your primary care physician, you may also be required to visit our Surgical Navigation Center for an evaluation prior to your surgery. This is for your safety and to ensure everything is in order for your day of surgery. Once again, we thank you for choosing White Plains Hospital for your surgery and we look forward to working with you to ensure you have an exceptional experience.